hope you're doing well. I hope you uh, are safe and healthy and everything's going well for you. If you can't tell, uh, I have a cold. I have been tested. It's not COVID. So I'm, I'm not a life threat to anyone. Although I'm sure that by now Sue is a little bothered by the noises that are coming out of me. I read something recently that said that when you, it's a sad thing that when you get old that you start making basically the same sounds that your coffee maker makes. Uh, there is a truth to that. There is a truth. Squeaking when you bend down and get up again. Cracking and popping and... <clears throat> but for me, when I have a cold, I sound more like a train, perhaps uh, a vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> not not a pretty sight. Certainly not good for sleep. So, you can pray for Sue. <laughs> anyway, I want you to just take a moment and think about the fact that uh, endurance is a big deal for all of us. I hope, as a believer, you intend to finish well. Paul speaks in 2, Corinthians, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8 and on of finishing his race. He's run his race. He, he talked in 1 Corinthians 9 earlier, much earlier, <clears throat> perhaps 10 years earlier, of just making sure that when he was in the, in the fray of the faith, that he wasn't just beating the air, that he was he was landing his punches, that he, he had a point to what he was doing. He was running because he wanted to receive the crown. He wanted to win. I hope for all of us that's an attitude that we have, that we're not just kind of floating along, hoping, you know, just waiting for that next step into eternity. Because it would be sad, especially with so much at stake in the world around us, so many people that are lost, uh, it would be sad <clears throat> if, <clears throat> excuse me, if that's the way that we approach life. I told you I had a cold. You know, when the Word of God speaks in 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 7, it's a very simple verse. Uh, it says, love endures all things. <clears throat> told you I had a cold. It really does. But that's not your love, and that's not my love. How do I know I'm going to get to the end and I'm going to do well? I, the only hope I have, or you have, is that the love of God motivates me. That my faith, in Galatians 5, 6, and 7, works by love that I'm constrained by it in 2 Corinthians 5.14, and that it gives me the power to have purpose in the midst of adversity. Because if you can't, if you can't sense purpose in the midst of adversity, I don't know how we would ever survive it. We live in a world where People just simply have no purpose in the midst of adversity. I'm, I'm not talking about the military or perhaps those people that are in law enforcement or in other areas of you know, service because I think they have a great sense of purpose because they see the value of what they do, meaning that they actually see the fruit in helping others or protecting someone or responding to a person that's in need. But oftentimes in life, in those kind of seemingly non-consequential areas of life, we have a real hard time just sticking it out, just enduring you know, something that we don't necessarily like. And I would just encourage all of us, love endures all things. Maybe the bad thing that's happening to you or me right now, the trial that's so much a part of our faith, is actually God's way of perfecting us, as he says he does in James 1, 2, and 3. Then he actually uses this to mature us. Maybe it's God's way of 
allowing us to come to understand his love. It's interesting to me that endurance is just prior to proving character or experience, meaning that you've gone through a test and you came out the other side of it. And that proving character leads to hope. In other words, if I can believe God for this, I can believe God for greater things, and that hope will never make you ashamed, it says in Romans 5 and verse 3 through 5, because God's love is going to be poured into your heart by the Holy Spirit. I don't know where you're at today, and you don't really know where I'm at. One thing I do know is this, is that love, not my love, not your love, but God's love endures all things. Till next time, friends, God bless you.